Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy, bringing you lots of helpful tips and advice for your Squarespace website, website strategy, and online tech. Today, I want to talk to you about a lead generation page for your freebie. So what is a lead generation page? You may have also heard it called a CTA page or a call to action page, a lead capture page, an opt-in page, a sign-up page, or a conversion page, just to name a few. Basically, it's a web page specifically designed and optimized to capture information about visitors, typically in the form of contact details, with the primary goal of turning them into leads or prospects. These pages are strategically designed to encourage visitors to take a specific action. This video talks about using your lead generation page for your freebie so that you can grow your email list. Some other common scenarios where people would create a lead generation page might be for webinar registrations, to request a quote, product launch alert, contests and giveaways, consultation or appointment bookings, event registrations, survey participations, or course enrollments. Some of those items can actually serve as great lead generators to grow your email list. So basically, the objection of a lead generator page is to get visitors to take a single action, removing any other distractions or any other options from that page so that they can only do one thing on that page. Okay, so what are you going to need to create this lead generator page for your freebie? Well, you're going to need a lead generator. Some people call this a freebie or an opt-in, opt-in gift clickbait, lead magnet, whatever you want to call it, it's all pretty much the same thing. Have it be good. I know. That's so annoying when people say that. You can actually test different lead generators out to see how they're working. Your lead generator should be something that highlights you as an expert at what you do, gives people an idea of what your product or services are like, what it might be like to actually work with you, and make doing business with you the next logical step. Should be something that is so good that someone would actually be willing to pay money for it because then they know that if your free thing is really good, then your paid thing must be amazing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this, and I'm actually going to use my guide for writing website copy as an example. The guide to writing website copy, by the way, is available on my website. I will include a link to my lead generator page for that freebie below this video. It breaks your website down into sections and it gives you instruction on how to write content for each section. You'll need an, a lead generator and then you're going to need a way to actually collect these emails. So you may already be using an email service provider or an ESP. But if you're just getting started and you're not ready to use an email service provider, you can use Google Drive to store your email addresses. As far as email service providers go, I pretty much always recommend ConvertKit. I find it very intuitive. Their help pages and tutorials are very well thought out and easy to follow in my opinion, and their customer support is excellent. But I also know people who love MailChimp. I know people who recommend Flowdesk, MailerLite, but we're not going to talk about email service providers in this video because that's a whole other can of worms. <laughs> but I will at least show you how to get set up with Google if you're just getting started. The great thing about using Google is, of course, that it's free. But also, when you are ready to start using an email service provider, you can download your email list as a CSV file from Google and then just upload that file into your email service provider so you don't lose any subscribers. Okay, so let me jump into my website and show you all of the important parts and pieces and also a couple of hacks to help you save time and really optimize the use of this page. The first thing that you're going to do is add a page in the not linked section. So just click the little plus sign, select a blank page, and give it a name. Have it be something that makes sense. In this case, it's get the guide. And then you're simply going to edit this page. So you're going to have to add a section, add a blank section, and add all of the elements that you want. I'm going to show you how I've laid out my lead generator page for my guide to writing website copy. The components that you should have on your lead generation page are primarily the title of your freebie, for example, free guide to writing effective website copy, and a compelling description of the freebie 
that identifies the problem it solves, what your subscribers will get, and how it will improve their lives. It's a three-part description. You always want to start with the problem. Tell people what their challenge is. Writing copy for your website is hard when you don't know what to write. Then tell them what they're going to get. Now you can use the same Google form as me to write effective website copy for free. And then tell them how it's going to improve their lives and start attracting your ideal customers. The final thing that you want on your lead generator page is a strong call to action button that is connected to your email service provider that tells people what they will get when they click on it. For mine, I have get the guide, but some other options might be download the guide or help me write better content. But have it say something compelling. Don't use passive language here. If you've decided to store your email addresses in Google Drive instead of an email service provider, you will be using a Squarespace newsletter block. Edit the block and then head over to Storage. Select Other Storage Options and connect to Google Drive. So you will need to be logged into Google Drive in your browser for this to work. When you select this, Another window is going to pop up and inside that window, you will select the Google account you want to connect. It is in the drive for that account where your emails will be stored. Now let's talk about what not to have on your lead generation page. Whatever you do, do not use the word newsletter. There is nothing more boring than a newsletter. And the only thing worse than using the word newsletter is to ask people to subscribe to the newsletter. You may as well be saying, give me your name and email and I'll regularly clutter up your inbox with useless information. You can clearly see the difference between how this looks and how this looks. Unless you create a lead generator to offer in exchange for an email address, you will get a grand total of zero subscribers. Your friends and family don't count. The other thing you don't want on your lead generation page is to have any other possible actions that a visitor can take, which means you have to eliminate the header and footer for this page. To do this, you just need to add a little bit of CSS. You're going to go into the settings for this page, select advanced, and put this code in here. You can find this code below the video in the blog post. Now that you've created an awesome lead generation page, you can add this as a section to other pages on your website. You can save this section by hovering over the upper right corner and selecting the little heart. Now go to the page where you want to add your lead generator and decide where you want to add this section. Select Add Section, Save Sections, and then select it. Some places where you can share your lead generation page are in your Instagram profile links. I recommend creating your own Instagram links page in Squarespace and including a link to your lead generation page. You can also promote it in your Instagram stories and include a direct link in the story, which you can do with the Instagram editor. You can share it to your Facebook page, share it, to any Facebook groups you think could benefit from your freebie and promote it in your pop-up by going to marketing, promotional pop-up. And you can see that I have another freebie that I'm promoting here in my pop-up. Then you'd go into action and you'd select click a button, put the button text right here, then select the page from your website. I typically have this open in a new window. As you continue to come up with great ideas for lead generators and add them to your website, you're going to want to keep them organized. And this is how I do it. I create a folder in the not linked section and I call it freebies. You would simply click the little plus sign and scroll down to folder and then name it whatever you want. I called mine freebies and I nestle all of my freebies in this folder so I won't lose track of them. Okay, you guys, that's it. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like. Maybe share it with someone who you think could use some help with this. Consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.